Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing what is the major difference between Node.js as well as Firebase. If you are really confused with which backend you need to be used, you can please go through this video session and based on your requirement, you can choose whether it may be Node.js or Firebase, whichever it will be suiting for your requirements. In case you are new here, please consider subscribing because we'll be discussing a lot of things about our products. Okay, now before going through what is the difference between Node.js as well as Firebase backend, you need to be, uh, I'll be giving you the quick introduction about what is Firebase and what is Node.js backend is all about. Now, first coming to the Firebase backend, whenever you design apps like it may be iOS, mobile or Android or any web application, database is kind of a problem, not because it's really hard to design, of course, it's a little bit tricky to design as well. Sometimes it consumes a lot of bandwidth trafficking between database and application. Front end is kind of a big issue. On top of that, hostage is again a problem. So, Firebase gives you the complete solution how things can be taken down with Firebase and you can do all kinds of authentication. It may be username, password. Nowadays, you, you know, everything requires authentication. Authentication plays a major important role. It may You may be using Facebook, you may be using Twitter, you may be using GitHub. It requires authentication. Apart from authentication, it also manages the database. It gives you the real-time database. As soon as a user will be clicked in, written a code and database entry should be done, they does things magically. It's really real time. You can see all the things magically appearing there. This is not about authentication and database. It does the job really neatly, awesomely, but it does other things as well. This is all about quick introduction about Firebase. Now coming to Node.js. As you all know that uh, Node.js is an open source cross-platform and runtime environment for executing JavaScript code. We often use Node to build back-end services and is also called as an API, Application Programming Interface. Node.js is ideal for building highly scalable data incentive and real-time apps. This is all the quick introduction about Node.js and Firebase backend. Now, let us go through what's the difference between Node.js as well as Firebase backend. Coming to the first point, Node.js developed the REST API with Node.js and MongoDB. Whereas in case of Firebase backend, Firebase real-time backend is used. In case of Node.js, AWS says is used for email. But whereas in case of Firebase, it's not like that. You need to be choosing an email provider. And one more important key difference is it's easy to implement complex features. Node.js is easy to implement complex features. Whereas in case of Firebase backend, it's somewhat difficult to implement the complex features. Just make sure that if your application is really uh, complex, you can really go to the Node.js and if your application is simple, you can choose Firebase backend. And as you all know that images will be stored in Cloudinary. In case of both Node.js and Firebase, Cloudinary is used for images. And one more important thing, uh, one more important difference is in case of Node.js, a setup is more difficult. Whereas in case of Firebase, it's easy setup and deployment is also easy. And one more important thing is it's required the cloud host like AWS, Google Cloud or DigitalOcean. Whereas in case of Firebase, there is no particular cloud host required. You can deploy it on any hosting provider. This is one of the major advantage of Firebase backend. I can say you that. And uh, one more thing is you in case of Node.js, you need to manage your hosting and scaling your own. Whereas in case of Firebase, Firebase manage it automatically. You don't need to manage your hosting or scaling on your own. I highly recommend you to post down on the comment section given below and uh, surely make a video for that or if you if at all if you are having any doubts with this and I'll say that if you are enjoying this video in here make sure that you'll be giving a thumbs up in case you are a new user please consider subscribing and if you think that this video is really helpful for somebody make sure that